Hi, everybody. I have a very fun story for you today that I am looking forward to sharing. And it is called Howard B. Wigglebottom Listens to His Heart. Howard B. Wigglebottom used to love to dance. Whenever Howard felt sad, he would dance and wiggle away the blues. Dancing always made him happy. Until one day at school when the other kids made fun of him and the dancing stopped. Howard wanted to fit in. Being liked and acting cool was important, so important to him that he decided he would never dance again. Maybe everyone will like me if I'm a rock star, so I think I'll try singing, Howard said to himself, but that didn't go quite as planned. Or maybe I'll be the best at basketball, or maybe art, then I'll be liked for sure. Howard felt everyone was better than he was and that there must be something wrong with him. Just when it seemed his day couldn't get any worse, it did. And after school, Howard's little sister hopped by and said, I'll race you home. Howard tried his hardest, but he knew he wasn't really that fast for a rabbit. Grandpa Sammy could see his little grandson was a changed bunny. His wiggle was gone. What's wrong, Howard, he asked. Nothing, Howard mumbled. That's not what I see, said Grandpa. It's okay, you can tell me. I'm a good listener. Howard told Grandpa everything. I keep trying and trying and I'm not good at anything. There must be something wrong with me, Howard cried. There's nothing wrong with you, Howard. You're good enough just as you are, said Grandpa. Try doing things just for the fun of it, for what you'll learn and for the friends you'll meet along the way. It's not about winning or being liked. Listen to your heart. Do things that make you feel good, no matter what your friends say. What makes you feel really good? Howard answered, dancing. I love to dance, Grandpa. I thought so, Grandpa said. If you like dancing, then practice and be the best dancer you can be. Maybe I can help. I know a thing or two about dancing. I used to wiggle a bit in my day. Dancing goes way back in our family. Howard, you come from a long line of wiggle bottoms, added Grandpa. Every day after school, Grandpa Sammy taught Howard new dance moves. Howard's favorite dance was the one he made up all by himself, and he and Grandpa called it the wiggle bottom. One day, Grandpa said, Howard, be proud of yourself for doing your best and trying different moves. You listened to your heart and invented your very own dance, and now I can tell you feel really good inside. But the next morning, when Howard read the school poster, sock hop dance after school this Friday, he became nervous. Howard wanted to go, but what if his friends laughed at him again? Friday arrived, and everyone gathered in the gym after school. The music started. Howard closed his eyes. He danced and he wiggled. Howard was the happiest he'd been in a long time. When the music stopped, he opened his eyes to silence. But what he heard next made his heart sing. One person started clapping, then another and another. Soon everyone was yelling and cheering. You rock, Howard. Awesome. You're the best. Teach us your cool moves, Howard. Howard smiled from ear to ear. There was a joy in Howard's heart that he hadn't felt in a long time. Dancing made him feel really good inside. He was proud to be who he was born to be, a wiggle bottom through and through. And that is the end of our story. Our theme for the month is deep listening. And sometimes listening means with your ears. And sometimes it means listening to your heart and what your inner voice inside is saying. Howard really wanted to dance, so he didn't need to listen to everybody who was telling him not to. He just needed to listen to his own heart and what he believed was right and true for himself. So I hope that you think about that and that you follow your heart and listen to your own inner voice as well. Thanks for joining me today.